You go straight. Here, the more you move. So just know here, the lighting will be different. All right. Okie dokie. I haven't made a video in a while. Stuff's been going on. Haven't really been motivated. You know how it goes. Today, this video is gonna have nothing to do with anything that I made in the past. We're just gonna be kind of silly. Something that some of you guys may know about me is I hate all alcohol. Beer, liquor, wine. It's disgusting. I don't like anything about it. So today I'm gonna drink some beer. I'm not excited about it. We have a bunch of really weird beards here. No. We have a bunch of really weird beers here today. We're gonna go over them as we go through, but they're all a bunch of really weird flavors. And I'm gonna see how disgusting the weird flavors make an already disgusting drink. Let me see how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna start with the one that I think I will like the least. That is banana bread. Banana bread is, uh, is something very yummy, but translating it into a beer does not sound something doable. Also, I'm gonna rate these, but my scale will be skewed and you're gonna have to forgive me for that. My one to 10 is starting at your like two. Gotta understand that and just bear with me. The sound that it popped on, I give it a about a five. Kind of a lame pop. Smells like uh, like beer and that's, that's disconcerting. <laughs> Why am I doing this? God damn it, that's gross. I <laughs> My eyes are watering. I taste the banana bread, which is weird. I didn't expect to taste it, but uh, <laughs> it was so bad. I tasted it right at the end. So if I'm, I'm gonna remove the beer factor of that and uh, and I'd give it a, I'd give it a six uh, because I can taste banana bread. God, this is not gonna be fun. You may have noticed my sunburn. I'm not a responsible person. Don't tell me about it in the comments. Thank you. Spicy pickle beer. See, this was created. Somebody created this thing. Why? 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 I'm gonna give it a, the pop sound. Now that was good. That was a good little. You heard that? It had the all, all of them. That's good. That's bad. That's so bad. So you're sitting at home right now, right? There's nothing in front of you to smell. It smells, it smells like what you expect. It smells like I just opened up a bag, of, a crisp bag of hot Cheetos and you poured pickle juice in there. That's it. <laughs> did, I, did I rate that one yet? I'm gonna, if I didn't, I'm gonna rate it a seven. I hope I'm not contradicting myself. <laughs> That's spicy. <laughs> That's spicy, dog. Mm. <laughs> this one's not bad. It tastes like pickle juice. <laughs> Legitimately spicy pickle juice. No beer in there whatsoever. I mean, it's not good. I don't like it. This is best made. Spicy pickle beer. Made in Fort Worth. I didn't give this one a little uh, credit for. Eagle Brewery. It's banana bread beer. It's made in the UK. So... You know what I mean? Blueberry beer. Now, I have this weird relationship with blueberries where I don't eat them because I don't like them. And so, not looking forward to this one at all. This is a Hefenweizen. And uh, I'm sure going into this, some people will be pretty pissed off that I'm calling all of these beers when they all have like specific names. But uh, I actually don't care. And uh, that's something that I should have stated earlier. I don't care about any of this. I'm just upset, sad, and angry that I'm drinking any of these. So we're gonna give it a pop. That was nice but it didn't have the, you know what I mean? The, the third, the th there's three, there's, and it didn't have, it had the, it was in there, but it wasn't out there. Mm. Now that's, that's, that smells like a blueberry muffin. In the, I hope it tastes like a blueberry muffin. I don't wanna drink it. <laughs> Spicy pickle beer, not a good burp. So this is made by Brewery. It is a beer fermented with natural blueberry flavoring. Fermented, great word for a beer. It is was established in 1986, made in Salt Lake City, Utah. You're telling me straight Mormons made this? I've made a mess. Am I drunk? I'm not drunk. Mormons. Is it Mormons or Amish that live in Salt Lake City? It's Mormons. There's songs about them. God, that's gross. I'll give it a six on the pop, the pop part. Beer 
seven, five. If I, mm, I could vomit right now. Like personally, not cause it's that bad. I mean, it's not good. No part about it, it's good. But I really hate beer. Wow. I'm not getting very much blueberry from that. It's there, it smells like it, but mostly it just tastes like beer and uh, not a fan. What's interesting is that like, I don't know if it's <clears throat> because it's in or because it's a malt, but it's substantially heavier than these two. It's like thick, it's a thick boy. You know what I mean? When these were like bubbly boys, thick boy, bubbly boys. I'm not happy right now. I need a cracker. Oh God. I hope we have something other than Triscuits. <laughs> we have those tortilla chips. Quick, before I vomit. One hour later. Basically right now, I'm just gonna have like a big like screen that just says cut for intermission. Eventually. Bet you weren't, <clears throat> bet you weren't expecting ASMR. So these last two beers, I don't know if I'm more excited or less excited for them. This one is Super Not Peanut Butter and Jelly by Fourth Tap Brewing Company. They are located in Austin, Texas. <laughs> yeah, brother. Wow. It says it's easy on the happiness, a full body. <laughs> you know, I like them full body girls. <laughs> and then it is a sweet balance. Ooh, that is a good one. Sir, why do you keep forgetting to rate the pops? Please tell me you at least rate the soda. I haven't watched the rest of the clip. Come on, Matthew. Have some consistency. Man, that's dark. Bring me a glass. I need a glass. It didn't have all three pop, 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 but that first one, I mean, that was crisp. Thank you. I mean, look at that. That is a dark beer. I am not gonna like this at all. Nothing about this seems pleasant. I'm gonna start off by apologizing to anybody that supports this company because this smells like dog food and I, I just could not be exaggerating at all. It's dog food. Can you smell that? Can you smell that? It's not good. If there's ever one that I'm not gonna be able to keep it down on, here, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like dirt, like just straight dirt. Like if I went into the garden right now, ruffled around, pulled out a hand fill and just licked it, similar, very, probably better out there, but uh, not bad. <sighs> okay, last one, strawberry chocolate. I, I don't like strawberry and it's probably dark chocolate. This is just not gonna be a good one. This is a uh, farm to road, the King Canyon stouts. I'm pretty sure I don't like stouts. Well, actually, I don't like any beers, but I think stouts specifically are made in a way to where I will not like them. This was made with Seriously Chocolate from Taylor, Texas, and it is brewed in Texas. Oh, in Taylor, Texas. Also brewed in Taylor, Texas. Got it. Shout out to Taylor. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty close to the pickle beer. Okay. Is this a stout? I think this is a stout. I'm no beerologist. But uh, I know my beers. And I think this might be a stout because I smell this. And then I smell this. They smell the same, like dirt. My hands are so wet. Ugh, it's so frustrating. I hate beer. Ugh, that's crazy. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it smelled like dirt. It still smells like dog food. I'm assuming it's also gonna taste like dirt. Comparatively, you know, peanut butter jelly. Is it grape jelly? Is it strawberry jelly? Who really knows? Not me. You ever get to a place in your life and you just, you're just wondering, you know, you don't really, you know what I mean? You just, worst one by far. Oh my God. Wow. When I think of something that doesn't taste good, that's what I think of. Was the taste that I got out of that. <laughs> wow. People drink that. You, you probably drink that. Something's wrong with you. God damn it. Fuck. So we're going to rank these in order. I didn't like this because I don't like the flavors, but definitely like I can, I can smell it from here. If you eat hot Cheetos and pickles, buy this beer, bro. Like, you will be satisfied. That is on God. Is that nice and pretty? Is that aesthetic for you?
Next is gonna be banana bread beer, only because I genuinely tasted the banana bread in there, and I was I was shocked. It didn't taste good. Nothing about it tasted good, but I was shocked. Blueberry beer. I'm gonna rank it there because it does not taste like these two. And because of that fact, it is better. Peanut butter jelly is gonna be there because this was sin. This was sin. Why? Why? God damn it. Best to worst, my professional opinion, um, go off of it. You know, don't think for yourself, just do what I say and buy them in this order or buy all five, I don't care. Uh, or buy none, you know, just drink Dr. Pepper. We do a Dr. Pepper taste test, <laughs> money dog. I got you all day. It's like a cuisine for me, bro. This is horseshit, and that's from the heart. Well, in that case, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully I can do more terrible videos that I regret later for you guys. That'd be, that'd be fantastic, right? And uh, keep, keep on just hanging in with me because I promise I'll make more content, but just getting, I'm sorry, microphone. Just getting a little sticky right now, but uh, I'm gonna go get unsticky because of all of these <laughs> <laughs> rose ass beers. Thank you.